Hi guys, I was asked how I do some shots in slow motion, without artifacts, and in this, I will tell you about it. Let's go. To begin with, a sample that we will slow down. I'll show you a couple of different ways, how I did it at the very beginning and what I'm slowing down now. On the pictures, are all the versions that I will do today. The first is the most ordinary twixter. The second is a slow motion anim in the topaz program. The third is an anim driven by the program increasing fps. And then a superimposed twixter. And the fourth anim with increased fps and then topaz. Well, let's get started. I'm still mounting the main part in Vegas Pro. I'm already used to it like a drug addict, and it would be the right decision to switch to Davinci. We take a test subject. First we need to remove the retractable frames. I often remove repeating frames manually. You can calculate after how many frames the frame changes and remove it automatically. But sometimes there are frames where there is no regular frame change, then there is only manually. The sign will help you. Speeding up backslash having rendered a piece, we throw a twixter. Honestly, the tutorial settings were made a couple of years ago, and I no longer understood much about it. Well, we render nothing. While the rendering is in progress, I will ask you to like and subscribe to the channel. This will speed up the release of the new tutorial. Also support the channel with a penny. We get the result. We get a lot of artifacts. The output material is not accelerated, so that you can fully look and see the differences in close up. While watching 002 swim, I also want to dive deeper. Hehehe. <laughs> Go to the next one through Topaz. I think this program is one of the most useful for editors. A lot of useful tools. Removes noise. Increases image quality and now. Added a slowdown and we will use it today. True. Three are the same. Because I didn't see much difference. You can choose any of them. You don't really need to configure something. Everything is clear. Click render. The rendering begins. You can admire the slowdown and see how much time will be spent on the video. I speed up the video to quickly see the result. We get a better result. Yes, there are still artifacts, but it is better and faster at times. Minus it is impossible, as in Twixter sliders, to adjust the speed, where it will be fast, and where it will be slow. But all this can be done after. The difficulty increases. In order to get an even better result, I increase the FPS in the video. To do this, I use Wife app. It is also used by me to increase the FPS in Anim to 60. It can be purchased on the author's Patreon. The link will be in the comments. There are other programs to increase FPS. For example, I have been using Daynap for a long time, but it is very long in terms of rendering. You need a very good video card, so that you can make a video at least in 720p. There is also a kind of free flow frames. Therefore, there is a choice in this regard. In the next tutorial I will tell people with weak computers a couple of chips, so that you can safely do yourself. Okay, let's get down to business and open the program. There are a lot of settings, I know only a part, and if there are knowledgeable people, you can share the chips in the comments, but the video is not about that, so I just increase the FPS in it without unnecessary chatter, upload the video, where we put the run through material, how much we increase the FPS, copy the other settings and click interpolate video and wait, in the console, we see how much time it will take approximately, and get our result. And now we use this video as at the beginning of 24 FPS, throwing a Twix to backslash Topaz. Here I will cut it off, so as not to repeat myself, I will show it in an accelerated form. We get our result, well, it looks much more cheerful, of course there are artifacts on sharp transitions, but at times better than in 24 FPS, plus, this video is 95 FPS, if we are doing a project at 24 FPS, then you can slow down. Now let's look through Topaz, to see what it will look like. It's done, in fact, a little better with the previous version. But the rendering speed is several times faster and I have in Vegas. Sometimes it renders crookedly when above 60 FPS, which I have to re-render. It never flew out and there were no problems with the file. Summing up, the video is actually more about the Topaz AI program and its huge potential. I think you can achieve results even better, but you need to sit down to understand the programs. 
As for Topaz, in recent years, they have succeeded in many ways, increased the processing speed by several times, add new features. Now there is a slowdown, high quality and fast, rendering results on the screen. For completeness, of course, here would be the results of the rendering speed from Adobe After Effect, but I'm a lazy pig, and if the guys from Topaz will also move, I can't imagine what awaits us in a year, I hope the guys will pay me for such advertising, haha, <laughs> and to clarify, the slowdown in Topaz, was added only recently. And about how people with weak PCs can do such a slowdown backslash high quality pictures, 4K+, I'll probably tell you in the next tutorial. Links to programs will be in the description under the channel. That's all for today. I hope I could teach you something at least a little. Hugged, picked up and let go.